this video PowerPoint presentation is going to be on disinfecting a pipe in pounds needed. As always, I do not own any of the questions and materials presented. This is for educational purposes, and if it helps you learn, that's great. Here we have the formulas we're going to be using off the formula sheets. We're going to be using the feed rate pounds per day formula or the Davidson pie chart, and we will also need to use the volume of a cylinder or a pipe. Pipe is just a cylinder that is laying on the ground, so you will interchange the height for length. Like I said, this is off the state of Florida formula sheet. As always, I recommend if your state provides you with a formula sheet when taking an exam, I suggest that you use it while practicing so you get familiar with it. So a quick few notes. If they don't give you a dosage when disinfecting a pipe, assume 50 milligrams per liter as a standard. If that's wrong, you can let me know. Uh, other thing to note when using the Davidson pie chart, uh, it's generally 100% purity unless they tell you otherwise. And to find the quantity above the horizontal line, so pounds per day, multiply the three pie wedges below the line together, and then you would end up dividing by the percent purity as a decimal if it is not 100% pure chemical. And also remember when you're solving for volume, it's in cubic feet. So all the units of measurement when you do your multiplication, your diameter and your height are gonna need to be in feet. Uh, if you want some practice on that, uh, if my technical skills are getting better, but my memory's still sucky, but there should be a link to another video that just does volume. And those are my notes, so let's get into the questions. Here's our first question. How many pounds of chlorine will it take to disinfect a new two-foot pipe that is 3.2 miles long at a dose of 25 milligrams per liter. I always like to pull out my known and my unknown from word questions so it's easy to keep track of. So what we know is that the diameter of the pipe was two feet. The length of the pipe is 3.2 miles. The dose is 25 milligrams per liter. And what we don't know is how many pounds of chlorine we need. So with that, the pounds of chlorine lets us know that our formula we need is feed rate pounds per day is equal to the dosage milligrams per liter times the flow million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds per gallon. Now, just so you know, the flow million gallons a day is just volume. So it doesn't have to be flow. We're just looking for the volume of the pipe. And to find the volume of the pipe, we're going to use the volume is equal to 0.785 times the diameter squared times the height and again height and length are interchangeable and also remember volume is solved in cubic feet so we're going to have to do some converting to get things in cubic feet so diameter was already in feet but we're going to have to convert miles to feet and just remember whenever we're going to do a conversion whatever unit you want to go away is going to go on the bottom like it's dead it's buried it's beneath it so one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So again, we arrange that so that the miles will cancel out. So 3.2 miles times 5,280 feet over a mile. Your miles will cancel out when you do the multiplication. And when you do that multiplication, 3.2 times 5,280 feet, you should get an answer of 16,896 feet. So now we're going to plug that and our two feet into our volume equation. So you have 0.785 times the two feet squared, which is two feet times two feet, times the length of 16,896 feet. We're going to multiply this all together. And our answer is 53,053 cubic feet, because we did feet times feet times feet. So now we're going to have to convert this to gallons. So one cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons. And remember, when we set up our math problem, what you want cancels out is going to go on the bottom. It's buried. It's dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. So 53,053 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. You do the multiplication. Our cubic feet will cancel out, and you're going to be left with gallons. The answer is 3 196,836 gallons and again we're looking for the volume in million gallons a day so now we're going to convert some more 
So to convert the 396,836 gallons, 1 mg over a million gallons. So it's going to be division. And you're doing it on the bottom. So our gallons are going to cancel out. And we're left with the mg. Once you do the division, the answer is 0.3968 mg. So now that we have found our volume, we have our dose, we can plug it into our pounds formula. So we have the dose of 25 milligrams per liter times the volume of 0.3968 mgd times the standard 8.34 pounds per gallon. And when you multiply it together, you get the answer of 82.7 pounds per day. So there you have it. It's a pretty simple question but with a whole bunch of steps to get to the answer. Just take your time and remember the units of measurement must match. And once you start plugging it in, it's pretty easy. If a water pipe were two miles long and eight inches in diameter, how many pounds of chlorine gas would have to be added for a dose of six parts per million? First, we're gonna pull out our known and our unknowns. What we know is the length of the pipe is two miles, the diameter is eight inches, and the dose you're looking for is six parts per million. Remember, parts per million and milligrams per liter are the same thing. And what we don't know is pounds of chlorine. You may have guessed it by the title of this video, but we're gonna be doing the pounds per day formula every time. So pounds per day is equal to dosage milligrams per liter times, again, the flow MGD, which is volume and multiply that by the standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. So one of the things we don't know for this is the volume in MGD. So we're gonna solve for that. To solve for volume, when you know the diameter, it's volume is equal to 0 0.785 times diameter squared times the height. Height and length are interchangeable. And remember, as always, the volume formula solves cubic feet. So we're going to have to convert our two miles and eight inches into cubic, I'm sorry, into feet so we can solve this problem. So one mile is equal to 5,280 feet and one foot is equal to 12 inches. And remember, as always, when converting units, the unit you want to go away goes on the bottom so you can cancel it out. It's dead, D-E-D, -E it's gone, on the bottom, buried. So to do that, you'll have two miles times 5,280 feet over a mile. So the miles will cancel out and eight inches times one foot over 12 inches. So you'll be doing division to get the inches to cancel out. So we'll go ahead and do our math and our units will cancel out. So you're gonna multiply the two miles times 5,280 feet and you're gonna divide the eight inches by 12 inches, so you get answers of 10,560 feet and 0.67 feet for your diameter. And we plug those into our formula, 0.785 times 0.67 feet squared times 10,560 feet. When you multiply all that out, you get an answer of 3,721 cubic feet and we're going to look for million gallons we have to convert the cubic feet to gallons first one cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons so we're going to multiply 3721 cubic feet by 7.48 gallons over a cubic foot your cubic feet will cancel out and your answer is 27,834 gallons and again, we're looking for million gallons. We're looking for the volume. So we got to do some more converting. So to convert to million gallons, it's 27,834 gallons times 1 mg over a million gallons. You're going to do division. Your gallons will cancel out and leave you with mg. And the answer on this one, I went ahead and rounded it down to three decimals. So 0 0.028 mg. So now we plug everything into our formula. So our dose of six parts per million, which is the same as six milligrams per liter, times the volume of 0 0.028 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. And the answer is 1.4 pounds.
Again, multiple steps to get to the answer. Got to do a lot of converting in there. Let's make it a little bit more complicated by having chlorine that's not 100% pure. So we're going to add another step. How many pounds of calcium hypochlorite, 70% available chlorine, will it take to disinfect a new 8-inch pipe that is 1.5 miles long to a dose of 50 milligrams per liter? Let's start by pulling our known and our unknowns out of our word problem. So what we know is the calcium hypochlorite is 70% available chlorine. The diameter is 8 inches. The length is 1.5 miles. And we're looking for a dose of 50 milligrams per liter. The unknown is the pounds of chlorine. So here we have, again, the feed rate pounds per day formula. of Dosage of milligrams per liter times the flow million gallons a day or the volume times the standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. In this one, we've added a step. Once we do all that, we're going to divide that by the chemical purity as a decimal. So we already have the dosage. We need the volume. So we're going to solve for volume, which again, the formula for volume with diameter is 0.785 times diameter squared times the height. And this will be in cubic feet. So we need to convert our units of measurement into feet. So again, one foot is equal to 12 inches and one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And again, remember when converting units, the one you want to get rid of goes on the bottom. It's gone, dead and buried, D-E-D -E underneath. So it cancels out. So what you want to cancel out always goes on the bottom. So again, we have it written out so that it will cancel out. So eight inches times one foot over 12 inches is gonna be division and the inches are gonna cancel out. And then we're gonna do 1.5 miles times 5,280 feet over a mile. Your one mile will cancel out. And of course, whatever the answer is divided by one will be you know, the answer. So you do the eight divided by 12, you get 0.67 feet. Again, the inches will cancel out. You do the 1.5 times 5,280 feet. And you get an answer of 7,920 feet. So now that we have that, we can plug those into our volume formula. So we have 0.785 times 0.67 feet squared times 7,920 feet. If you wanted to break that down a little bit more, it's 0.785 times 0.67 feet times 0.67 feet. That's squared times 7,920 feet. So you do your multiplication and the answer is 2,791 cubic feet. So we're going to have to convert this to million gallons, but first we're going to have to get it into gallons because we don't want cubic feet. We want gallons. One cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons. And we're going to write this in a way that the cubic feet cancel out when we multiply. So 2,791 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. Your cubic feet are going to cancel out. Do your multiplication. And the answer is 20,877 gallons. Now we need to convert that to million gallons. So 20,877 gallons times 1 million gallon over a million gallons. The gallons will cancel out. And the answer was 0 0.020877 million gallons. Going to go ahead and round that to 0 0.021 million gallons. And we can finally put everything in our formula and solve our pounds formula. So you have the dose of 50 milligrams per liter times the volume of 0 0.021 million gallons times the standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. And we're going to divide that by the available chlorine percentage as a decimal, so 0 0.70. So when you multiply everything on the top, you get 8.757. Now, don't ask me how the unit conversion works on this one because I don't actually know. The formula is supposed to make it so you don't have to think. And it's doing a pretty good job at that because I don't like thinking. So 8.757 divided by 0 0.70. And your answer is... 12.51 pounds. So how many pounds of calcium hypochlorite at 70% available chlorine? 12.51 pounds. That's how many.
You have just laid 5,000 feet of 10 inch line and it needs disinfecting. How many pounds of 65% HTH chlorine will be required to dose the line with a dose of 25 milligrams per liter? So let's pull out our known and our unknowns from our word problem. What you know is the length of the pipe is 5,000 feet. The diameter was 10 inches. You're looking for a dose of 25 milligrams per liter and the percentage of available chlorine is 65%. What we don't know is how many pounds of HTH will be needed to dose the line. The formula for pounds is dosage milligrams per liter times flow million gallons a day. Again, flow volume or interchangeable times 8.34 pounds per gallon. We're going to divide that by the chemical purity as a decimal. So first we need to get our volume. So let's solve for that. Volume is equal to 0 0.785 times diameter squared times height, which is interchangeable with length. Again, volume solves for cubic feet. And that means we have to have all of our stuff in our formula in feet. So we already have the 5,000 feet, but the diameter is 10 inches. So we're going to have to convert 10 inches to feet, 12 inches in a foot. We're going to set this up so that we multiply the inches cancel out. So 10 inches times one foot over 12 inches inches cancel out and the answer was 0 0.83 feet so we're going to plug that into our formula so we have 0.785 times the diameter 0.83 feet squared times 5,000 feet so do your multiplication and the answer is 2,704 cubic feet so again we're going to get to million gallons so first we're going to have to convert to the 2704 cubic feet to gallons there is 7.48 gallons per cubic foot we again set this up so that when we multiply cubic feet will cancel out so 2704 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons over a cubic foot you do your multiplication and you get an answer of 20,226 gallons so again, our pounds formula is looking for the volume in million gallons. So we're going to have to do some more converting. So 20,226 gallons times 1 million gallon over a million gallons. Your gallons cancel out. I said this may seem a little excessive to do this every time, but I'm just trying to get beat into my own head, the conversions. So we do our multiplication or division because 20,226 times one is equal to itself divided by 1 million. And the answer is 0 0.020226 million gallons. We get to plug all this into our formula. And for some reason, I didn't feel like rounding this time. So you have your dose of 25 milligrams per liter times the volume of 0 0.020226 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon divided by the percentage of HTH so as a decimal 0.65 so we'll do the multiplication on the top first you get 4.21 when you do all the multiplication on the top now we're going to divide that by the percentage as a decimal so 4.21 divided by 0.65 and the answer is 6.49 pounds. So it takes quite a few steps to get to the answer of these relatively easy questions. And they said water math is hard. Anyway, hopefully this video helps you learn. Thanks.